extracted. The Purge of Socho. Following reports of Thargoid incursions into the core systems, Aegis Core has launched a counter Thargoid operation in the Socho region. A spokesperson for Aegis Core gave the following statement to the media The goal is simple take out Thargoid vessels, gather up the pieces, and deliver them to Dangtek Enterprise. We don't know as much about the scouts as we do the interceptors. So we want to compare materials from both variants and find out what they are made of. Each score has appealed to independent pilots to support the operation by destroying Thargoids in Socho and by delivering biomechanical conduits, propulsion elements, and weapon parts to Dangtek Enterprise. Commanders who participate in the operation will be generously rewarded. The campaign begins on the 15th of March 3304 and will run for one week. If the final target is met earlier than planned, the campaign will end immediately. Coalition of Othime campaign concludes. The Coalition of Othime has announced that its campaign to build a new asteroid base has received the wholehearted support of the galactic community. Hundreds of pilots supported the appeal by delivering commodities to Levi Montalcini Dock, and by eliminating agitators in Othime, thereby ensuring the safety of traders. Authorities in Othime have extended their gratitude to those who participated in the operation. Pilots who contributed to the initiative can now collect their rewards from Levi Montalcini Dock, in the Othime system. Fresh knowledge from New Guardian sites. Following the recent discovery of New Guardian sites, the engineer Amtar is seeking help from the galactic community to learn more about the long-lost civilization. Further details were outlined in his latest announcement. I have developed a decryption algorithm that will translate the codices at Guardian sites. However, pilots are reminded that accessing Guardian data is only possible when in possession of one of their artifacts. Pilots can obtain Ramtar's decryption algorithm from any station in the meme system other than for Leestock. The artifacts alluded to by Ramtar can be found at Guardian sites. Commanders are warned to be on alert as the sites may be defended by Guardian drones. Ramtar also stated, I will be more than pleased to reimburse any pilot who successfully returns to the meme system with a complete series of Guardian logs. There is so much more for us to discover about the Guardians and their history, and this could be a significant turning point in our understanding. Thargoid Surveillance in the Pleiades 
Aegis has launched an operation to monitor Thargoid activity in the Pleiades Nebula. Admiral Aiden Tanner, Chief Military Liaison at Aegis, made this statement. Our new Eagle Eye initiative will closely monitor systems where Thargoid surface sites are known to exist. We have established orbital surveillance installations at six locations in the Pleiades, which will measure energy level fluctuations and track ship movements. Each installation is attended by a comms beacon, that will collect the data before transmitting it to us for analysis. Aegis has confirmed that Eagle Eye installations have been placed in the following systems. HIP-17225, HIP-17692, HIP-17892, HR-1185, Pleiades Sector IRW, D-155, Pleiades Sector KCV, C-24. Professor Albert Isro commented. My hope is that this initiative will greatly increase our knowledge of the Thargoids. Observing their natural activities, outside of combat zones, should further our understanding of their behavior. Week in Review Here are this week's major stories. Several new Guardian sites have been discovered, resulting in a wealth of fresh information about the Guardian's long-lost civilization. Some of this information has already been put to practical use by the engineer Utah, who has produced blueprints for new weaponry and power plant systems based on Guardian designs. Several galactic figureheads reacted to the news. Federal President Zachary Hudson said, Anything that helps us defend our citizens from Thargoid aggression is welcome, while Imperial Admiral Denton Patrius expressed hope that the new armaments would provide a tactical advantage in our conflict with the Thargoids. Meanwhile, Aegis has launched an operation to monitor Thargoid activity in the Pleiades Nebula. The Tri-Superpower Initiative has established orbital surveillance installations at six locations in the Pleiades as part of the Eagle Eye Initiative. The installations will monitor systems where Thargoid surface sites are known to exist. Finally, the Coalition of Othheim has announced plans to develop refinery facilities in its home system, through the construction of a new asteroid base. The organization hopes that the new base will allow it to compete with other refineries in the region. And those are the main stories this week.
virus virus virus. Ensure you complete dust leaf seizures within your allotted time.